Why is Scotiabank's mutual fund the largest foreign shareholder in an Israeli company that makes weapons? That company is Elbit Systems, and its weapons technology has been used inside Gaza and in the occupied West Bank. We believe that Scotiabank is complicit in the killing of innocent civilians in Gaza and in Palestine. Israel's use of Elbit-made drones on civilians has been documented. In 2014, an Israeli airstrike killed four boys who were playing on a beach in Gaza. The missiles were fired from a drone made by Elbit Systems. According to a military police report, obtained by The Intercept. And Scotiabank's stake in Elbit isn't small. Royal Bank and TD Bank, they only have about combined a $3 million stake in Elbit. Something more in line what you'd see in a diversified portfolio. Scotia's position is a gigantic $500 million stake. That reporter looked into where Scotiabank's investment comes from. Its asset management arm called 1832 Asset Management. There's a particular subdivision known as Dynamic Funds and a particular fund manager named David Fingold. Fingold is very, very well known to be a prolific investor in Israeli funds, Israeli companies. He had been responsible for the fund, which took this gigantic stake on behalf of Scotia in Elbit. I reached out to David Fingold for comment, but he didn't respond. And Elbit Systems declined to comment for this story. British bank HSBC divested from Elbit in 2018, and Norway's government pension fund divested in 2009. A petition asking Scotiabank to do the same has more than 15,000 signatures. Now Scotiabank is asking for the petition to be taken down, claiming that it contains misinformation. Scotia argues that Scotia is not the biggest foreign shareholder of Elbit. If you look at the SEC filings and if you look at Elbit's own website, 1832 is the second biggest shareholder of Elbit after the chairperson of Elbit. In a statement, Scotiabank said the Elbit shares are held by funds managed by 1832 on behalf of unit holders. These are Scotia customers. They buy mutual funds that Scotia offers and Scotia profits from these sales of mutual funds. This asset management arm is called 1832, but recently they've been rebranded to Scotia Global Asset Management. In its statement, Scotiabank said portfolio managers have a fiduciary duty to deliver the best possible returns and that these investment decisions are independent from the bank. The statement also said some protesters have been intimidating and threatening to Scotiabank employees and clients. Wong said Echo has not taken part in the protests and that the statement fails to focus on the impact of Elbit Systems. This is a company who is supplying 85% of the land equipment used by Israeli forces in the siege of Gaza. Elbit Systems weapons have also been used in Myanmar by the Myanmar junta after the military coup in 2021 for the oppression of the Rohingya people. Scotiabank has not changed course despite calls to divest. And Wong said Echo is keeping the petition up, with a revision adding Scotiabank's explanation for the mutual fund ownership stake.